egg spot. For this project, we'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. Before we begin, I always remove the battery and AC adapter. Unscrew the two bottom hinge screws. Remove the two hard drive screws. Slide the hard drive out of the laptop. Remove the seven base screws that hold the touchpad palm rest to the base assembly and loosen the two non-removable PCI slot screws. Unscrew the two hinge screws on the back edge of the laptop. Turn the laptop over and open the display, flattening out as much as possible. On the right side of the power button cover, use a flathead screwdriver to lift and unsnap the power button cover. Working from right to left, unsnap the power button cover and lift away from the laptop. Unscrew the three screws holding the keyboard to the base assembly. Carefully lift the keyboard up, flip it over, and rest it on the palm rest. Unlatch the keyboard cable retaining clip by pivoting the blue clip up. Unplug the keyboard cable by lifting the blue ribbon straight up. Unplug the antenna cables from the wireless cards. Remove the antenna cables and LCD cable from the upper routing channels. Unplug the LCD cable from the motherboard. Lift the LCD display assembly away from the laptop base. Unplug the CMOS battery. Remove the three palm rest screws. Slowly unsnap the touchpad palm rest away from the base assembly. Be very careful, there is a plug that needs to be disconnected underneath the left palm. Slide the touchpad palm rest to the left, exposing the plug. Disconnect the touchpad palm rest plug from the motherboard. Remove the single retaining screw holding down the modem to the motherboard. Slowly lift the modem from the motherboard and unplug the modem cable. Plug the modem cable into the modem. Plug the modem into the motherboard. Secure it with the single retaining screw. Plug the touchpad palm rest plug into the motherboard located on the left palm. Place the touchpad palm rest onto the base assembly starting from the bottom, sliding it away forward. Place the three screws on the top of the touchpad palm rest. Plug in the CMOS battery.
Place the LCD display assembly into the laptop base. Reroute the antenna cables and LCD cables through the palm rest routing channels. Plug the LCD cable into the motherboard. Connect the antenna cables to the wireless cards. Plug the keyboard cable into the motherboard. Secure the cable with the retaining clip. Flip the keyboard over, replace the three screws. Place the left edge of the power button cover into the laptop and snap into place working your way to the right. Close and flip the laptop over. Replace the two hinge screws on the back edge of the laptop. Replace the seven screws to hold down the touchpad palm rest to the base assembly. Tighten the two non-removable PCI slot screws. Slide the hard drive into the laptop base. Place and secure with the two hard drive screws. Replace the two hinge screws on the bottom of the laptop. Replace the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.